Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is Emily D. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lida. I'm so excited to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. The Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Yeah, it has accumulated enough. So there's about to be an outburst. Okay. It's about to be an outburst. And then you know what was bubbling on the inside. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Some people like have accumulated so much on the inside. They are bubbling. They are bubbling. And they are being going with the illusion that, oh, please control your anger. Control yourself. You know, if you express yourself in a certain way, you're going to be judged. You know, if you do this, you do that. That's what people don't feel fit to understand. That the more you keep things inside of you without expressing them, the days the, the, those are going to be coming out is going to be so terrible. People don't have people are not aware, you know, because they are afraid of consequences, whatever. They're like, because they're like, please God, comport yourself, please. You know, mind what you say, mind how you say it, please. Don't, it's like you know, being the truth is that whether you whether you do whatever, you end up being judged. The truth is that whether you are at fault or not, whatever that you do, you are constantly being scrutinized and judged. And for real, it's not a bad thing to, to, to exercise righteous anger. Even Christ himself, he was so annoyed. He had to go into the synagogue and overturn tables. He overturned tables. Not that he hated the people, but he hated the acts. And you were trying to let people, like people have been complaining, like people have been trying to complain. You will say, no, please, you know, please go behind. No, please don't do this. Don't do this. Open rebuke is better than sacred love, beloved. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you for a fact. Right as I'm talking to you, a lot of people are people have a lot of inside of that that they want to express, that they want to pour out. They have had it up to here. But because they are so afraid, let me tell you. In no in recent in, in no time from now, you see people, you see a lot of people like you know coming out in anger and pouring out their anger, what of, of the things that they have been like keeping on the inside. It's, it's, it will be so ugly. I'm, I'm telling you. It will be so ugly. Beloved, whatever it is that is eating on the inside, please share it with some people. Share it with somebody. Don't keep it on the inside. Hallelujah. Express yourself. It's freedom of speech. Please don't say that. Please don't do that. Please, things you know that are not right. And you've, you've, you've been afraid to be judged. Oh, you are this personality. The, everyone was like, you no, know, looking up to you. They didn't believe that you could behave in this way. They didn't believe, you know, just, my God, I was so shocked. I didn't know she could behave like that. I didn't know she could say those things. I didn't know she could. Thank God that at least you could do some something to free yourself. Free space for God's spirit to get to dwell in you and do more. But for those who have been keeping, the day that those things are going to be coming out, even they themselves shall not be spared. Even they themselves shall not be spared. Than keeping, you know, you know when I you know when you accumulate things on the inside, you become so toxic, and you attract more of those things, and you feel like everything is all right. Okay, let's see how this, this is going to last. Okay, don't worry yourself about it. Keep expressing yourself, and not allow anything on the inside that, on the inside that, that bothers you. All right, have a healthy way of expressing it, healing yourself and moving forward. God bless you. I have been emulating faith is our vehicle. And love is our strength. See you in the next, in the next video.